everybody, Bill Owen from MNPCTech.com and the Monster Mod YouTube channel. Today I've got a special treat for you, something I've never done in the past is a box opening product review, but I thought this one was exceptionally cool because it's a Black & Decker RTX rotary tool. As you well know, rotary tools are the most popular tool used for PC and case modding, so I thought this was Definitely something to share with everybody, um, especially if you're just now starting your tool shopping for modding and you haven't bought a rotary tool yet and you're trying to work off a little bit of a budget. This was a heck of a deal. So let's see what we got in here. Oh, some a user guide from Black & Decker. Mm, nice, nice glossy pictures. This is actually pretty sweet. And instruction manual, destruction manual, as I like to call them. I don't think I'll be needing that. Um, ooh, the outline of all the Black and Decker accessories for your rotary tool. That's nice. And your product warranty stuff. But enough of the paperwork, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. Let's see, you get, uh, so there's some accessories already that come with it, taped onto it. Take a look at it. I like this ergonomic design here for your fingers, that's pretty nice. This is called the flip lock. It just holds the shaft in place. That's your on and off switch. And your speed control is right here. It's got three speeds, low, medium, and high. And the RPM rating on it is 24,000 and 30,000 RPM settings on the RTX. It's pretty light and it feels good. Now, let's see if there's anything else in there. But okay, cool. There's another thing in the box here. A little accessory bag. That's pretty slick. So when you're done, you keep your tool clean, tuck it in there. Cinch it up with your accessories. Especially cool if you're going to go over to a friend's house and do some modding and you want to bring all your stuff in one little bag, that's pretty slick. This is the low speed, which is 12,000 RPM. That's pretty quiet and it feels really smooth too. Medium. Black & Decker includes some starter accessories. This little plastic bag taped down to the power cord. And this is kind of annoying. It would be nice if they used a little Ziploc bag instead. Yeah. Alright, we got some barrel sander attachments here with varying degrees of grit. Looks like a couple coarse and a couple medium grit. And there's your attachment for your barrel or drum roll sanding attachments. Go on, you uh, loosen the screw, set screw in here, and then slip the drum over and then tighten the screw. And they did include a little wrench, just like Dremel does. That would go just like this to hold, to uh, tighten the attachment rod in place. So 
Yeah, you can definitely use these for uh, grinding down some edges of some win of window cut or fan hole that you made. Let's see, take a look at here's all the accessories right here. You want to set your flip lock here to hold the shaft in place while you tighten the head. And this is where you need your included wrench. Now Dremel and Craftsman, what they do is they've got a button that you push that locks the shaft in place. Which This is slick because it actually holds it in place and you don't have to bother with it. Then put it down when you're ready to go. Um, this is a, like probably a, a medium grit that they included. And so you could use this if you had some cut on metal, which I just happen to have scrap metal. Got lots of scrap metal around. Oh wait, before you do anything, let me stress safety glasses. Yeah, this will do a fine job of cleaning up fan hole cuts or window cuts. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to see anything, but uh, you definitely get the point on what you can do with the sanding attachments. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bill, I don't want to sand the edge of things with this tool. I want to cut things. I want to cut windows and cut out fan holes. I hear you. But what you're going to need in order to do that is you're going to have to buy this separately. And this is an eighth inch sized standard mandrel. And this allows you to use cutting wheel attachments. These are for cutting metal and plastic. And MMPC Tech sells a pack of five with the aluminum oxide reinforced weave on it so it lasts longer for cutting metal. And so we'll attach one of these and try out a little demo. Whether you're a veteran modder looking to add another rotary tool to your arsenal, maybe dedicated to doing just window etching and sanding, or if you're a beginning modder looking for a versatile rotary tool that will work with Dremel brand and Craftsman brand attachments, you can't go wrong. Um, but I wanted to mention that here on the Monster Mod channel, we've got some videos. One is Dremel techniques for case modding and that's a two-part series which applies to all rotary tools and then uh, another video for installing a custom window in your case where I use a rotary tool to make the initial cut before using the jigsaw to make the cutout in the panel so check out those videos and keep the Black & Decker RTX in mind if you're looking for a good rotary tool